I needed the condom because I'm a virgin. I'm gonna start with one finger. You'll be dazzled. Oops. What am I trying to get at? Stupid boy. Morning, you dirty, slippery sausage. Uh, slightly different today, isn't it? Because we're not starting in the car because we're doing the hand in lotion video. So I think we'll just start off with maybe I don't know, I think I'm going to get an original shot. Just something like that for the main video. And then I'm going to start like putting stuff into it. So that's one finger. And then I think I set a timer for an hour. No, not yet. I guess I'll put them all on. And then I'll go take the dog for a walk. We'll see how this, and then go straight to the gym. I've actually, to be honest, I've already been up taking the dog out. It's currently 6.46. Uh, I take the dog out first thing when I wake up. Oh, that's tight. Um, take her out first thing, and then I'll edit the video, the pod vlog, this video. Oh no. Got a hole. Rubbish. What a load of trash. Tripe. What a load of tripe. I guess these things are breaking really easily. Yeah, and then I normally head to the gym and I don't like going to the gym when it's busy. So 7 a.m. seems to be the best for that. Oh, that one's broken too. It's no good. Oops. My hand is definitely greasy. Is this one good? Yes. There we go. Look at that. Let me wipe my hand off. I guess I'll just wipe it off on myself. Yummy. All right, and then we start the timer. Did work. All right, I'm gonna take the dog out. I'll get a few clips out there walking with her. Um, might just make my pre-workout right now. The timings are kind of weird, like I, I thought about just doing this as soon as I wake up, but then I wouldn't have the time to get to the gym and whatnot. And I normally do my, I drink my pre-workout on the way to the gym, but for some reason, I want to show you the biggest waste of money I have ever, aside, aside from the flipping, aside from that at-home sauna, this is probably the thing I've wasted my money on. That's been more of a waste. I'll show you, I'll show you in a second. You'll be dazzled. Oh, let's put the hose up on my washing machine. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so. <coughs> Everything's in the washing machine. What do we do? getting edged it's edging let me help you with that edging
think that'll be mixed enough. It's going to be so strong, isn't it? Okay, and then you just, you drink from the end of the washer hose. I don't remember, I don't recommend you getting that. I know you were thinking about it, weren't you? Why would I have gotten it? There's still loads of bits in there. Oh gosh. Quick nick. All right. I'm going to go film these bits. Oh, it's all over my glove. So I think next, I'll see you in the gym. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I popped in to warm up to get the condom. Dustin, this is this is one of yours. So thank you for the tip when you bought the merch. Uh, the condom is going to be used later in the video. But I have just walked the whole bloody length of Walmart with one of the ladies who works here because they have to walk it to the checkout with you so her and I are having making conversation from one end of the store to the other so that was like really great and now I'm looking for a like a kid's wallet because I thought that would be funny to have like maybe this like stupid peanuts wallet or something how much is it I don't know. But I feel like that would be funnier than like just an added funny bit. Whether it's funny or not is another question. There's a part of it. Okay, it looks like that's the only real one. Snoopy, really? Is that Snoopy? Is that Snoopy? It's either that or this fucking whatever the that is. What is that? I don't know, but I'm gonna go with Snoopy, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not in love with the idea. She she was telling me, she was like, uh, I'm sorry I have to do this. I, you know, I don't want to do it either. And I was like, I don't know, it's, it's okay. I, uh, I did try, <laughs> she, I started to explain why I needed the condom. Like, oh, I'm making a video online. And I was like, that's probably, that's probably not the one, is it? As I'm buying a three pack of the cheapest condoms I could see. Yeah. So now, what am I looking for? Oh, I just want to get a photo of myself with the, that section, I guess. Don't know why. Oh, for an Instagram post. Yeah. All right, cool. Now I'm going to head to the gym after this. Hello. A couple of good things just happened. Number one, I forgot, but I was wearing Crocs to the gym. And now at first that's like, okay, it's a weird thing. And then I thought, hmm, that could fit in quite nicely. I turn wearing Crocs into a virgin thing, and by a virgin thing, that then brings in the condom, because like it's unused in my wallet. Also, I've got a nice, so the next thing is, I put the condom over my hand to go in the shower, to protect it from the water, and the thing, the whole condom broke, so now I have this really cute, I had this really cute um, wristband. Got a nice big red mark there now. But that worked out so well for the video. That makes some really good things. Like the fact that it snapped in the shower and it snapped on the workout thing. Quite pleased with that. That was rather decent. So yeah, I think we're gonna do a one hour, a five hour 
10 hour and then 24 hour. It looks like you're shaking. No, you're not. Spitting gross rain. So I've got to be careful because I, I do find myself slipping into, like when I get this rejuvenated feeling or a feeling of rejuvenation that I just want to do as many videos as I can. I quite often get myself started on so many and overwhelm myself. And then I'm not sure where to step next. So we have three on the go right now, or two on the go, one of which I'm gonna start. I guess we could start that today. The, this one, which will go on till tomorrow morning. And then we have the sucrosomial magnesium, which I forgot I didn't tell you any of the reasons that that is actually good for you and why I'm doing that. So I'll mention that when we get home. And then the other is the iron lung breathing thing. So I've got two different ones of those. So we can get going on that today. I just need to sterilize it. All right, well, I'll see you when we get home. In normal Oliver style, I forgot to tell you about magnesium. So this is next morning, Oliver, if I just share my screen. Uh, it's involved, so first thing is that sucrosomial, the sucrosomial part uh, is very scientific. <laughs> I, yeah, obviously I, I did my research when I chose this pill, but this is, it's meant to be the fastest absorption method. And it has 20% higher bioavailability than a magnesium citrate, which I think is the average, the normal type of magnesium. So what can it do for you? It's involved in hundreds of biochemical reactions. Great, that doesn't tell us what it does for us. Kind of, we can allude. Allude? We can get to that. It may boost performance. Sexual performance. May combat depression. That's always good, isn't it? may support healthy blood sugar levels. Okay. May promote heart health, that's good. Boast anti-inflammatory benefits, all right. May prevent migraine attacks, may improve the PMS system. I do, da. May promote bone health, it's better sleep, that's one I, I'm interested in. Reduce anxiety, not that big of an issue, safe and widely available. Okay, I don't believe that was the original reason why I did this. I'm gonna go back through my videos and in the next video, I'll talk about it a bit more because there are better benefits. There are more benefits. There's a more of a reason that I chose to do this than that. I'm not gonna lie. These are really annoying to type with and to move anything around the phone. Like if I scroll, okay, if I, if I try scrolling, Gosh, for goodness sake. You see how it bunches up? Wow, what a real problem. But we have got everything shot for the first part. So for the one hour version of these, and then we'll do five, 10, 24, I think. I also, let me show you my screen. I have to be very light. And I don't know if I need to add more lotion. It still feels a little bit slick, but I think I'll have to add some more later. A new update, good, okay, good. Well, I will do that in a bit then. I like this one the most. That one's quite good too. That one, I like the reaction, but I think a bigger balloon ball, like this one, if I go that and then image adjustments. Brightness, sure. Adjustments, vibrance. So it's not too bad on the trackpad actually, because I, I guess I press quite lightly. And then the background, adjustments, brightness, contrast, bring down the brightness. That ain't doing nothing. Oh, that's because Oliver, you genius, you haven't masked out. The actual, th oh gosh, this is difficult now. Oh, what is that? It's 
going to be a long day. Doing this, trying to do this. Not doing, oh gosh, can I just use a mouse? Yeah, I think I can just use a mouse actually. Oliver, you're just a problem solver, that's what it is. But you're not very smooth with this, are you? How about no? Okay, select myself. Got Duda next to us as well, chilling, just straight hanging out. Yeah, we want you, Oliver. You are very special. Covering all of this. I think that pretty much covers it. I don't see anything else. Mask. Okay, then template, image, adjustments. Yeah, and then I'll just need to add a few. I will for sure need to smooth up around the edges of here, aren't I? That's a good hardness. I'm here for a good bit of hardness. I'm just smoothing off the edges so it doesn't look as... So it doesn't look like it's just copied on there, you know? Like, I don't want someone to see this thumbnail and be like, oh, I can see that's just thrown on there, so I'm probably not going to get that in the video. Like, yeah, you are. You are going to get this in the video. What more could you want, actually? A 32-year-old man blowing pretty appalling Looney's bubbles. Are you telling me there's something different you want on a what will be Thursday evening? No, Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Yeah, Wednesday evening. All right, bruv, that will do. Maybe a little bit, bit of clean up on this aisle. Cool. And that's quite good. Do I add text? No. I don't know that I should. Do I stand out enough? Just change the brightness a bit more. There we go, that'll do. Don't know what that is. So you can get deleted. All right. Let's save that one as number four into the right folder. And that is the thumbnail done. I need to update the, oh Jesus, a one hour 46 long video. What a load of tripe. I'll come back and do the description and title a bit later, I think, because I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Update now. Yeah, I've been looking for another bloody update. Why are there so many? I think I'm going to work on the script next. I don't think I'll film. Well, I guess I will do actually because it differs from what we figured out yesterday since we had the um, the few changes this morning, like the condom breaking and wearing Crocs. So I'm going to adapt the script slightly. So let me switch tasks. We'll get onto that. All righty, tighty. Okay, we're working on the script for the hand in lotion, the 24 hours. So quick recap from yesterday. Uh, the script we had is for the one hour. So we're going to split this into four videos. Again, not because I want to make four videos to get more views and likes, but because I think we can make this into four fun videos. So Initially, so I kind of share where my mind's at. Initially, the whole video was going to be just doing my hand in lotion again. I mean, it did pretty well last time, but this time I thought, let's see the difference of the different hours. We're currently, what time did I start? Six? So like four and a half, four and a, no, three and a half hours in, because I started a bit later, like seven-ish. But we had a couple of the cool things that happened when we were trying to film it. So. I am obviously screen recording for here. I'm like, I guess I'm like semi talking to you as well. 
What up, Ramsey? It's been a while. Uh, I'm not going to chat with you on here, Ramsey, by the way, if you're still in here. But we are doing the YouTube video, so over on YouTube. All right, so this video is done. We had a couple of things that changed. So I've got the hook. It's very similar to the last one. I'm going to see what happens if I keep my hand in lotion for 24 hours. But I also want to make it very clear that this video is going to be about the one hour. So let's say for the want, I, and again, we're going to make this more conversational versus uh, high impact wording. So stealing my wife's Uh, what's the large size of condom? What are they called? Magnum. See my wife's Magnum condoms. I... See my wife's Magnum condoms. I filled each with a squirt of lotion and see I'm thinking about how we can include some sexual innuendos without them being too obvious because I think they can be gross at times. Still in my wife's magnum condoms, I filled each with a squirt of lotion before sliding it down. Before sliding it over each finger. And in this setup one process, I do want to add in that they break. Maybe I just add in whatever my comments I had. Comment about breaking. So at this point in the video, I'm trying to get the viewer to realize that these are quite fragile, that they, these do break, so that if there comes a time in this video, or this series where they do break at a very inconvenient time, I don't want the viewer to see that and think, oh, well, of course it snapped at that time. I want them thinking that they are prone to breaking uh, and to expect that, so when it does happen, it is expected. I'll tell you what, I do feel like the lotion is starting to dry out, so I'm gonna, I think when I take the five off, I'm gonna add a bit more, give myself another squirt, you know? All right, so we've got our setup want, which also, uh, the setup want moves into the point of no return. And I, I like how fast this is because it really gets into the video quickly and t lets the viewer know that they are going to get what the hook is. Um, see, I don't think the catch that we set up yesterday, because I set this, I did this before we realized that we would shift it into four videos. So the catch is, has got to be something that as a result of putting them on, this happens, which causes more issues for the rest of the experience in the video. Bloody hell. 35 people on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we have the want, it goes into the point of no return, comes down to the catch. Let's have a diff let's make a different catch in here. So instead of everyday things get hard, we'll have that they keep breaking. That'll be the catch. Uh, so yeah, the catch, comment about breaking. And then maybe a comment about, um, I thought these mini condoms would be better than the last time I tried this using a tortilla bag. Yes. That I, I quite like the fact that I bring that up because it helps, it tells the viewer that I've done this before. Why did I use a tortilla bag? Hopefully this guy will explain it as he goes through the video or at least some point in the series, which I will and I'm going to explain it in this video. So we get straight into dog walking. Um, 
I kicked off the day with um, walking Duda. But with the freezing Kansas temperatures, you know, I don't know which way to go with this because I actually felt like my fingers were warmer than my other hand because the liquid had warmed up, the lotion had warmed up on my hand. So I don't want to make it up and lie that it was just that my hands were cold. I kicked off the 24 hours. I want to remind the viewer that this is a 24 hour challenge. I kicked off the 24 hours with walking doodah. Oh. You know what? I think instead of like having the, the initial plan that the video is going to be split into four pieces by, you know, one hour, five hour, 10 hour, 24 hours, like my plan is to do the 24 hours, but because it splits, I then decide to change the course of the video and do it slightly differently, right? To, to then, instead of, yeah, do it that I'm now more curious to figure out if it makes a difference at different times versus just, I think that's good. I kicked off the 24 hours with walking doodah, but with the freezing Kansas temperatures, but I'll give you two thoughts here. So this is like the main meat of the video that we're getting into, the kind of talking about what really happens when you have lotion on your hands. Or like, what am I doing through the day to kind of test this? And I mentioned yesterday that I don't want to go too deep, deep into cr trying crazy things that I wouldn't normally do. I feel like we're moving away from that sensationalist era of, of content and into this more of, oh, you did a crazy thing? How did it go? Let's just be more, let's be more realistic about it. So I'm using Duda in here, as opposed to saying walking the dog, I'm using Duda so that the viewers who know who Duda is can connect. And the people who don't may be trying to work out who the hell is Duda, and they may not even care who the hell Duda is, which is really mean. How can you be that way to my dog? All right, I kicked off the 24 hours with walking doodah. Mm, I don't like that start. My friggin' fingers are getting caught on the... The 24 hours... began with a weird start with a weird but pleasant but pleasant start as I walked Duda the 24 hours began with a weird but pleasant start as I walked Duda and then of course we have the person thinking why why was it weird this is so awkward and annoying. I have to use the mouse. <laughs> the freezing Kansas temperatures. I want to say, I'm trying to think of the right wording to get across that I wasn't expecting my hand with the lotion to be warm outside. The 24 hours began with a weird but pleasant start as I walked Duda. Expecting the freezes, freezing Kansas temperatures to like freeze my hand, my lotion fingers. The lotion actually kept them warm even if holding Duda's leash was a challenge. Wow, so dramatic. Okay. So then 
I think we go to the gym. I forget the things that happened here, but I've got this segment where I'm walking the dog to the tearing of this, these at the gym, of one of these at the gym. And I think, I want to show the viewer that I finished walking the dog and I'm moving on to the next thing. So I want to bring up that I'm going to work out so that the viewer knows what to expect is coming next. And then while that's happening, I can explain what happened the last time I did this. Uh, so here's the script that we have so far. I'm going to see what happens if I keep my hand in lotion for 24 hours. Stealing my wife's magnum condom condoms, I filled each with a squirt of lotion before sliding it over each finger. Then I have some comments about them breaking as I'm putting them on. I thought these mini condoms would be better than the last time I tried this challenge. Hmm. Maybe I switch that around. I tried this challenge once before using a tortilla bag and I thought these mini condoms would be better would be a better oh wouldn't make my life so difficult wouldn't make my life so difficult and I thought these mini condoms I'm not sure about the wording there the 24 hours begin with a weird but pleasant start as I walked Duda Expecting the freezing Kansas temperatures to freeze my lotion fingers, the lotion actually kept them warm, even if holding Duda's leash was a challenge. With the condoms wanting to roll off. Okay, next. Going to the gym. Uh... Hmm. I don't want to be too wordy, do I, Mr. Oliver? Dude. Hello, Duda. If... Turn this light up. starting to doze off while I'm on my phone. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I, I want to say that I'm about to go to the gym. Uh, the steering wheel gripping the steering wheel gripping the steering wheel on the way to the gym was about as difficult difficult gripping steering wheel on the way to the gym was about as difficult I don't know provided just as much of a challenge as much of a challenge uh Gripping the steering on the way to the gym provided just as much of a challenge. What am I thinking? What am I trying to do with this? Like the constant thought I have is you don't want to be too wordy as you're explaining something and you don't want to over explain something. So it's being able to link one scene to the next but also keeping it concise. Like I hate the idea of making, uh, of like writing a script and each sentence 
doesn't like link up with the next one. It's like the South Park way of writing. It's something happens and there's always a but or a therefore. I think that's right. There's always a but or a therefore after something happens. So there's always a result of something that's done and that result then has an impact on the next thing. So gripping the steering on the way to the gym provided just as much of a challenge and it brought me back to the last time I tried this where everyday tasks were, were so much more difficult. That's flipping useless, isn't it? I was... <sighs> Do I want to put in here an expectation of what I want my hands to look like? I feel like there's... I'm obviously biased in my thought on this because I've seen this dude do it previously. But is there an expectation that your fingers should end up all wrinkly? Or do I need to explain that that's a potential outcome? Let me see what happened, I guess. I guess if we're trying to see what happens, I don't have to provide that expectation. Maybe I can put it in here. Gripping the steering on the way to the gym provided just as much of a challenge, and it brought me back to the last time I tried this where everyday tasks were so much more difficult. While the dude I copied, while the yeah, dude, I copied um, What am I trying to get at? Stupid boy. Do I want to list out where everyday tasks were really difficult or just, I think I can just add the clips in and then people can understand that it was difficult. Um, gripping the steel on the way to the gym. Here we go. Gripping the steering wheel on the way to the gym, I expected my fingers to be... What's it called when you're... F I don't know why I'm asking. I guess I can ask here. What's it called when your fingers get super... When they're in water for such a long time that they like crinkle up? What's that called? Pruned? I'll look for a different word. But I expected my fingers to be super wrinkly grip trying to grip the steering wheel on the way to the gym i expected my fingers to be super wrinkly like the last time i tried this but instead my fingers were just slipping off anything I touched. Cool. Okay. And like by this time, the visuals that were showing are me at the gym. Um, how do I make the segue now into 
the crisis point, the point where you think, oh no, it's all going to end. We're not going to get what we wanted. But then it happens. Fortnite dance. All right, uh, okay, sure. Uh, let's go to... Uh, I really struggled gripping the super... I think I should make a Sam Sulek joke in here. I really struggled gripping the Sam Sulek. Oh gosh. Nope. Okay. Even. I want to say something about my size being like bigger or that I'm stronger than Sam Sulek. Even though I'm way stronger than Sam Sulek, I couldn't get a decent grip. And the one time I did get a decent grip, uh, my Condom ripped. I've also just spelled ripped with a W somehow. All right. Now this is the this is the where it gets like kind of clever. All right. So bits that if you watch these behind the scenes videos, you'll see what happens in the actual TikToks, and you'll start like you'll notice them, and you'll start to realize, oh, I see. That's quite clever. It might be clever. It might be stupid. Uh, but I I guess like in movies where you see. Like you catch something, you're like that. I can see someone's put some time and effort into this and, and getting that in. So we have, I'm just writing just this notes, the Crocs, which I, I actually accidentally wore to the gym. And then that leads into uh, virginity, which leads into using condom. So I'll say, I think I, I mentioned it earlier, but Dustin, because of your tip with the merch order, thank you very much. Uh, you purchased this, which a lovely wallet, and then the box of condoms. So thank you for those. That was, I really enjoyed walking across the whole store with the lady who worked at Walmart, just so that for whatever security reasons, you can't buy condoms. I don't know. Uh, okay. So how do I fit in the Crocs? I want to fit the Crocs in further up here. Uh, maybe as I get to the gym here. Um, where do I add the Crocs in? Because I can't, I can't add them in before I get to the gym because they're not an issue. This is quite late. Trying to grip the steering wheel on the way to the gym, I expected my fingers to be super wrinkly like the last time I tried this, but instead my fingers were just slipping off anything I touched. And to make things even better, I ax. Accidentally wore Crocs to the gym like a virgin. Cool. Okay, so now we've got the little snippet in there. The crisis mode is a section is that the yeah, condoms ripped off, and then our climactic choice. This I think this is like my favourite bit because I find a way to link it into somewhere previous in here. 
So we'll notice in that some of the shots that are in the TikTok, I have made sure to include this somewhere in the shot uh, so that people are like, so when, because most people don't carry their wallet around the gym with them, do they? It seems like a stupid thing to do. So, all right, climactic choice. I either stop the challenge or stop the weight. No. Let's, uh, so, the, my finger condom ripped. I, no, because I can't put in here that I was doing it by hour. Um, I thought it was time to give up both the challenge and the workout, but the Crocs reminded me of my unused wallet condom. And I used that to cover my finger, which is the banana too. Um. Mm. I don't, oh man. I still need to fit in the aspect of changing this from being a 24 hour challenge to a one hour, five hour, 10 hour, 24 hour challenge. And I think that has to go in at the, at this climactic choice bit, which is like, so instead of just giving up the challenge, I realized that I could adapt the challenge to see the difference. And so to keep going with the challenge, I just covered my hand in a condom, my finger in a condom. And then part two can be where I slip the condom over my hand. It's amazing that it broke in the shower as I slipped it over my hand to keep my hand dry. I loved that. Like you, those are the things that, I mean, yeah, you could write it, but I thought condoms were meant to be like nearly indestructible. So I'm going to change up the way I've written the, the climactic choice in the banana section. Um, I thought so it was, but it was time. I thought it was time to give up both the challenge and the workout. But instead I had the idea to adapt the challenge, or change the challenge into four parts. Mm. This is quite a long winded bit. I thought it was time to give up both the challenge and the workout. Thought it was time to give up the challenge and work out, but instead I had the idea to uh, adapt the challenge into four parts. Four parts to see how my fingers look after one hour five hours and 10 hours out oh, bloody hell, I can't write this can I and 24 hours in lotion all right so climactic choice where I decide to 
I'm really thinking about how can I keep doing this challenge and what do I need to do to move forward. I thought it was time to give up the challenge and work out, but instead I had the idea to adapt the challenge into four parts to see how my fingers look after one hour, five hours, 10 hours, and 24 hours in lotion. To see how my fingers... I guess I'll just go with that. Um, just shy of the one hour mark. The with my finger exposed and just shy of the one hour mark, the Crocs reminded me of my unused wallet condom. Which I used to cover my finger. Which became my new finger condom. All right, so the flaw in here is that um, the original flaw was that I'm not very resilient and I look for any excuse to give up. Um, there's no like, there's no idea in here that I'm thinking about giving up, is there? Once before using a tortilla bag and I thought these mini condoms wouldn't make my life so difficult. You know what's weird live streaming at the same time is I'm also, like I had to, when I started doing these videos on YouTube, I had to get over the fact that there was a camera on and just like be who I am, like as I think. But now with TikTok live on, I'm just like, it, that's in my mind too. So as I'm like stood here trying to think about this, my mind is also thinking about, not so much the YouTube video, but it is thinking about TikTok live. It's funny, like, cause I'm not really paying any attention, but it's still on my mind. I might have to take a step back and look at the how to fit the floor in here because the strength is pretty obvious that I've I found a different way to make to reach the goal. Maybe I can add in some kind of comment at the catch point where the conduct, where the things keep breaking, of like, is this even worth it? Is this even worth it? I'm not sure. And then the finale, uh, I feel like, I I want the finale, like the end of the video to lead on to there will be another update. But I haven't added anything in here about like, you don't need to quit, you can just look for other opportunities. which found a new shaft. Okay, finale. Um, I feel like stupidly righteous when I look at adding in a, like a message. I feel like who am I to give a message to someone about not quitting? I mean, actually, I feel like I'm pretty good to tell people about not quitting. I feel like I have a, a decent bit of experience in that region. Um, 
With my finger exposed and just shy of the one hour mark, the Crocs reminded, my, reminded me of my unused wallet condom, which finally found a new, which found a new shaft. Which finally found a shaft. Cool. Finale. I don't know if I even want to add a message of how it changed me. I don't think I need to. I don't think this warrants that. I think I can just uh, say next update will be at the five hour. Oh wait, I need to show what my finger looks like. Yeah, it didn't make any difference if not. So I'll, I'll just like do a comment to the camera. Next video will be at the five hour mark. But one hour in lotion didn't seem to make any difference. In fact, it looks worse. All right, I'm going to take a minute, review this, and then I'll just uh, just shooty tooty, and then hopefully we can have that up in a few hours. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. All right. I just finished the first, the part one. I guess we'll call it part two of this video. Just posted it. Seems to be doing pretty well off the bat. So kind of pleased with that. And and when again, stuck with that more like chilled vibe. That's really cool, isn't it? But uh, I kind of put myself up a little bit of a creek because I haven't really planned out much for the five hour, 10 hour and 24 hour. I think five hour is gonna be about working like some of the struggles I had while working. So like, uh, obviously it's better now that the, the what's it called is off, but having to move around on my phone and the touchpad of my computer has been really annoying. What else? Uh, bringing groceries, the shower. So I, <laughs> you, if you watch the, um, the TikToks, you'll see it, but in the, what will be the part three, so part two of the new series, uh, I used the condom that I put on my pinky finger to try and cover my whole hand in the shower, but it ripped. That's not a great sign, is it? Because I thought, yeah, I really did think condoms were meant to be, I've already, I think I've already told you this, but yeah, condoms are meant to be like somewhat indestructible. No, let's just have one that pops when it goes over your fingers. I mean, honestly, when I look at the size of that, I think, I think how much does a condom need? Especially if you're white. <laughs> All right, so we've got the kind of idea for, you know, let's just, should we just, um, let's put on a note down here. So part three, you know, I'll just call it five. Oh, that's good, isn't it? What a good pen this is. Get myself a new bloody pen in it. Here we are. All right. So, oh, bloody hell. All right, part five is the five hour, then we have 10 hour, and then we have 24 hour. So five hour, we've got the shower working groceries. I don't really know what the climactic bit is. Maybe like, like what happens here? Like when I think about this, I obviously want to be as honest as possible with the story, but I have to be honest with the results. 
right? Like that to me is a non-negotiable. So what I could do is because I haven't really made any plans to make this particularly entertaining, which in one part you can say you, the goal is not to make it entertaining. The goal is just to tell the story, but to me it's not, right? Like to me, it's more enjoyable to have a nice, a good story in there. But I do need to tell the real story, the real truth about what my fingers feel and look like after each of those positions. So what I mean by that is like, like let's say, like I got the reaction bits for the one hour and five hour, like to show what it looks like after. But like, let's say I don't have shots for that. I could easily just stick on more of these and then just go shoot those bits that I need to. Like if it falls in line with what actually happened. Yeah, because we don't really have any like crisis point, is there? There's you have the shower, but the condom breaks. Then I try working, but I'm bringing in the groceries. What else happens there? Like I don't know. Like there's, I'm sure there's more that could go wrong with working versus bring in the ghost groceries. I also need to get, I do need to get a shot in there of me walking out with high heels on to bring in groceries versus, I don't think I wore anything. <laughs> like that's, that is one of those things that you plan out for these videos because you know that that's something that people relate to, find funny. You know, that's, that's not gonna be, I mean, I would if the shoes are there, but I've got too many pairs of Crocs lying around for me to pick a pair of my wife's or my high heels. <laughs> that wasn't even funny, was it? Why did I laugh? Uh, over a pair of Crocs that are lying around. So then what do we do for the 10 hour? Because I'm really not too far away from that. 7 p.m. It'll be about 6.30 p.m. So three hours from now which I think isn't going to touch on work as much, is going to touch on like family life. I've just crossed the L in family. So if you ever feel like you're stupid, just remember that, all right? <laughs> family life, uh, cooking, What else happens? What else do I do after work? I pretty much just eat the food my wife's made, hang out with her and Rugi, and then go to bed. What could I do this evening that would test my fingers? Thinking like, I'm thinking something, something stupid. Like, let's say, for example, these bloonies. You guys remember these? Bloonies. Uh, like a, like a paint by numbers or something. Something that I would find difficult when I don't have access to all my fingers and things are slipping. Perhaps I'll go rock climbing. All right, let's see if I can make a good one. That's good, that's good, that's really nice. I don't know if I just got a dodgy batch, but this one is really wet. Like, what the frick? Just blowing bubbles, like, like crappy chewing gum. Oh, what was that? <coughs> that smell got me in my throat. Why does that smell like my old frat house at college?
I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm still going with this. I kind of got sidetracked. Um, so yeah, family life cooking. I think this one we touch on how difficult it makes doing everyday things. And then perhaps the 24 hours is like a recap of each of these. And then I guess it's more on what it looks like. So recap plus uh, what am I looking for? Result. So I think we'll edit that one tomorrow. We'll edit the, t the 10 hour tomorrow. I think I have everything I need for that, aside from, I guess, everything. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I guess. I'll, put, I'll just, I'll have a think about this after rugi has gone to bed. But I know we planned on starting this video today, which is, I don't know, call it iron lung or whatever. Oh, ex expand the lung is what this one's called. So I need a home test for how I measure my, how much oxygen I can output. I don't know if you, do you use chat GPT for questions or do you still use Google? I use ChatGPT for almost everything now. Um, how can I help you today? How, what, what is an at-home test to find lung capacity? Put the question mark in there just in case it doesn't know. Balloon bow it blowing. Okay, so it looks like the balloon test. So I would, before I do any training with this, training, use one balloon and the procedure here. Prepare the balloon, stretch it out a few times. Position yourself to, to be in a blowing position. So on your knees, preferably. Inhale deeply, blow into the balloon, measure the diameter and how long it takes to blow the balloon up to the fullest. I don't think that is a good one. I think, yeah, I just do one breath and see how much it fills up the balloon. So then test the diameter of that. I feel like that has to be the way. But who cares, it's for TikTok, right? And then I got this one as well, but this one just seems like a brown hyperventilation bag. Like what's the point in that? Gonna do pod vlog quickie, but I can't get my notes. Oh, not notion. Um, I think I I made a couple of. Oh gosh, I've got a lot of things to. I've made notes of to talk about. Oh yeah. I've seen, I've seen, this is so weird. My wife and I talk about this as, as if it's like a common topic. And I'll finish, I'll finish this pod vlog with this. It's, it seems like it's been, not that I give a shit if it's men versus women, but it seems like it's been more women that have posted videos that make their husbands look just useless. And I don't know, maybe the husband is useless, but the, the way these videos are posted seems less like 
a realization that this is that's actually a huge problem in your household and more of just like oh my gosh look how like funny this is like he's useless but he's just a guy what is the bar just crazy low for men that men aren't sharing responsibilities so i guess i'll put it this way my wife and I have shared responsibilities in the house. So for eight hours a day, my job is to earn money for us. And her job is to look after our son and yeah, keep the house clean, uh, do the shopping and cook. Right. So we agree that those are our responsibilities. If one of us can't meet those responsibilities, we have that conversation and we split the tasks. So then before work starts and from when work finishes to the moment we go to bed, everything is a shared responsibility. If there are clothes that need um, folding on the bed, one of us will do those, or both of us will do them together. If there's stuff in the sink that needs to be washed, whoever sees it just does it. And like one of these, I think here's the note, the one I saw recently was a wife complaining that her husband doesn't know all the things that she does. So like he doesn't know what his, uh, daughter would like for dinner like what are the options she really likes for dinner um, he doesn't know how to run the laundry machine just things like that and I, I would say who doesn't know how to run a laundry machine but all this time the video in the background playing is is a guy I don't know if it's the same guy it must be the husband out on his deck making like with a drill fixing stuff working on stuff while his daughter stood beside him and it made me think about this time that there are there are times that I don't know what like something for Ruby for my own son at which point I'm kind of like how do I not know that but I've also come to this like acceptance of the fact that my wife spends an additional eight hours a day with our child and so she learns a lot more and like that's her area of expertise so I can ask her questions about things that I don't know but there's also loads of things in my job on a day-to-day -day basis that she has no idea about. And it's fine that she has no idea about. But why is it that there can, that a husband in like this woman's case has to know every single thing about what their child does on a day-to-day -day basis, like just in the house, when he's also got his own thing to work around and figure out and try and mentally work through and to look at your husband as a lesser person because he doesn't know all the ins and outs from your job i think is crazy like yes i think it would be great to know everything about your child but when that's not your responsibility someone else has that responsibility that then becomes a situation of like my wife is the expert. So if I want to know something about my child that she works with every single day for eight hours more than I do, I'll, I should just ask and it shouldn't be looked down upon that I don't know this thing. Like as he, as he changes his eating schedule, like how am I meant to know that three days ago he no longer eats at that time, he changes. It's a bit of a rant, but I just, I think it's unfair sometimes this this separation between the responsibilities of a man and the responsibilities of a woman in their relationship i don't know i don't know if i even feel that way about it how do i feel about it i just remember watching the video and thinking does she, like, while she's saying all these things that her husband doesn't know, does she know what drill he's using? Does she know what type of bolt he, bolt, <laughs> screw he's using? Does she know what type of wood needs to be used? What happens if there's a break over there? Does she know what to do to go and change it? No. Why should she know? That's not her responsibility during that time. And the same way that, like, I'm at work for eight hours a day, like, yes, I'll come up and have lunch with the family, but I'm not cooking lunch every day only on weekends if you know if we decide that that's the right <laughs> if we both want to have food poisoning <laughs> that was a bit of a convoluted thought wasn't it i don't know perhaps you picked up what i was saying perhaps you didn't but yeah i think we're gonna 
leave that for today. Actually, I'm not going to work on this this evening. I am going to work on decorations for my wife. So if we're going to do a, well, knock on wood, we're going to be doing a an at-home birth. Um, that'll be at the end of, toward the end of January. And I want to make sure that I have the room nicely decorated for my wife. Wife. For my wife. So I think I will look at Pinterest ideas on that tonight and try and figure out what I need to get so that it's all prepared. I should start being a better husband. That's the start. That's the start. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you in tomorrow's pod vlog. There's a chance that we may need to go and get some small bits for part 5, 10, and 24, but I guess I'm going to film more bits throughout the evening as to how these do. But they're fucking annoying. Night. See ya. <laughs>